everybody and welcome back to my channel welcome to my living room here in germany so if you're new here i have been living in germany for almost three years now throughout the whole pandemic and for a lot of that time i've been learning german by myself <laughs> which has been definitely a challenge and so i want to film an updated study with me video showing you guys what I do to learn German by myself. Also, I should say that pre-pandemic, I did get to a B1 level. So I, I finished classes up to B1. I wrote my B1 exam and passed that, like just passed that. <laughs> but before I start my physiotherapy Ausbildung in Germany in April, which is coming up very soon, I just want to like continue my learning hopefully get to a loose b2 level by then and this is what i'm doing on like a almost everyday basis to do that so obviously not every day is the exact same i do like to switch it up a little bit for the sake of my sanity so here's what i'm going to do today to learn german if you are at all interested in me and my adventures going through this new country, living here, studying here, just like living, then give this video a big thumbs up and also make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss a video. Now, let's begin. So something in German that I'll admit I do struggle with quite a bit is writing. And I think that's mainly because of the grammar like German grammar is tough. I don't know, I think just writing just exemplifies my misunderstanding of German grammar. And so I always put it off. So what I'm trying to do is get that out of the way first. So the first thing that I'll do is just write literally anything in German. I have here kind of like a half used notebook and I'm just filling up the rest of it with whatever whatever I want to write down in the moment. And if I don't really know what I want to write down or I'm not really feeling inspired to write something, then I'll just look online for like journal prompts and I'll just pick whatever I'm interested from that and just, just write stuff. So that will be today's first task. I definitely consider writing to be the worst. I don't know why, it's really not that bad. I just don't really love doing it. I don't know. So now that we have the writing portion out of the way, we can go into a different type of learning, I guess, which for me is reading. I have been reading The Fault in Our Stars for quite some time in German and it's it's nice because it is like a youth book so it's written a little bit more simply um, at the beginning when I first started it it would take me so long just to read a page like my goal was to read two pages at a time and it would take so much time because I would I like I had a piece of paper just like designated to me writing out all of the words. So I would read through the page once and as I was reading through the first time, I would write out all the words and then I would go through and translate all of those words. And then I would read the page again, looking at the words that I had just translated that I didn't know. And that took so long. It was so time intensive and I've noticed such a big difference in my reading because yesterday I read 30 pages, which is insane. It would have taken me weeks to read 30 pages before. And so the fact that I could do it in a day 
was amazing. It was remarkable. So I've really seen a big improvement in my reading lately. I also don't translate the words as intensely anymore. There isn't nearly as many words that I come across anymore that I haven't seen before already in the book that I have learned. So, you know, on some pages, I only have to translate one word and then I'll just look it up on my phone, see what the translation is and continue reading. Other times it's a little bit more. And maybe sometimes if there's like a paragraph where it's a lot more complicated, there's a lot of words that I don't know, I'll kind of look up those words and then I'll reread it or something. But my reading is a lot more efficient now, which I'm happy about because I can actually read for enjoyment again. So today, I think, I don't know, I never really give myself a goal anymore for how much I want to read. So flipping through my book, I think today I'm going to try and read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pages. And then it'll just be like a full chapter that I have read, which is, it's nice to be able to read a chapter, honestly. So this is the next phase of studying. now like late morning I finished reading the chapter in my book and now I'm going to honestly just like relax a little bit but something I like to do if I'm going to like relax is to watch uh, like a show or a film or something in German and I'm kind of like developing all of my senses you know I have writing reading listening through a show and then speaking and so now I'm gonna be working on the listening part so I think I'm gonna start a show in German I've been looking on Netflix at some there's one uh, called Kitz I think it's based in Austria but they're like speaking in normal German um, so that's one and then other than that just like other movies or shows that are translated into German so that's what I'm going to be doing now. So I definitely think it's important that if you're going to be following uh, a TV series or a movie in your second language, at least like try and find something that you enjoy, that you like. Um, for me, that has been a little bit difficult, but like I said in previous videos, I do really think that Disney movies are really well translated, especially the newer ones and like the animated films. And they, I think they do really well at even like matching the voices. So the German voice actor sounds very similar to the uh, English speaking uh, voice actor. And really just watching a movie or following a TV series, it just really helps you to hear more German, which is really important when you're learning by yourself especially because you're not really sitting in a class with colleagues having discussions you don't really have that aspect to go off of so you kind of have to create that yourself so that you're actually hearing people speak german and finally the last aspect that i am using to really improve my german and something that is also very important if you're learning a second language is by speaking it so this can really depend on your situation and whether or not you have somebody to talk to so i hope that if you are learning a second language or if you're learning german you can find somebody to speak with who also like actually knows german because then they can correct you if need be and you can also like have a conversation with somebody so probably on like a regular kind of everyday basis i always try and speak a bit of german with my husband it is difficult because we met each other in an english-speaking country the first 
years of our relationship we were just speaking english to each other and it's kind of difficult to make that transition into a different language but it's very important because he is like the one person that I can always rely on being here and actually like being able to speak German because he is German. Other than him, I have my in-laws, like his parents, I'll have phone calls with them and we'll just chat in German. And that has been really, really beneficial for me learning German as a second language. I think it's very, um, transformative when you can get to the point where you can hold a conversation even if it's just a really basic conversation if you can speak with somebody else then your learning is going to be exponential after that because there's just another whole like aspect of learning that you can work on and it's really um, difficult at the beginning but it's very very um, how do I say this? It's very efficient when you're learning a second language. So for me personally, I noticed the greatest leaps in my language learning journey after I started speaking and also after I started more fluently reading. So in the moment, these are the things that I am doing to study German by myself, trying just to get a little bit better at it before my Ausbildung starts in a few months, which is very exciting. I'm thrilled to start. I'm very excited about it, but I'm also kind of nervous, of course, because it's in my second language. I'm still working on finding a practicum position for a bit of time before my school starts. So I'll have to give you guys an update later after that process to tell you guys all about it and yeah if you guys are learning German or any other language then please share in the comments below what is your greatest tool for learning and what are you doing that you think is maybe different or special that just like really helps you out I would love to know because I am not an expert in this and I am still learning and I am still discovering ways to learn. So I would appreciate that and I think everybody else watching this video would. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on a video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hello.